Okay, we're going to do section 6.2, factoring trinomials. So this is the first time we start actually factoring. Um, and this time, A for this section, A is going to equal 1. So the number in front of the squared term will always be 1. All right, before we get started, I'm going to show you a, over here, I downloaded an app on my smartphone called Diamath. I think it was a couple of bucks. Um, this really helped my daughters uh, learn how to factor. Um, and it's a little, uh, I guess it's called what, a diamond. And I'm going to show you how to use it on uh, the paper, using pencil and paper as we go through these factoring problems. But um, it's with pattern recognition, and it really, really helped them when they were learning how to factor. So I encourage you to use uh, an app if you're having trouble and struggling. All right, car number one. I'm going to go show you what Diamath does. Uh, you're going to do an X, and then you're going to put the 18, the constant term, up here, and you're going to put the 9 down here. You want factors of 18 that will add up to 9. So factors of 18, I'm going to go over to the side. I've got 1 and 18, 2 and 9. 3 and 6. Okay, I see right away that 3 times 6 is 18, and 3 plus 6 is 9. So once I complete my little diamond there, I can now write my factors. It's going to be z, actually, you go down. It's going to be z plus 3. I got that from right here, z plus 3. And then times z plus 6, right there. If I were to FOIL, z squared plus 6z plus 3z is plus 9z plus 18. When we're factoring, we're just kind of doing the opposite of foiling. All right, let's go look at number two. I want to get factors of 10, factors of 10, that will add up to give me negative 7. So one of them is going to be positive. Um, no, they're both going to be the same sign because 10 is positive. They're both going to have to be negative numbers. Factors of 10, 1 and 10, 2 and 5. Okay, they both have to be negative. And there are my factors. Negative 2 times negative 5 gives me positive 10. Negative 2 plus negative 5 gives me negative 7. So I'm going to factor this to y minus 2 times y minus 5. Number 3. I want factors that multiply together to give me negative 18, and they add up to give me negative 3. Okay, negative 18 up here. One of them is going to be negative, one's going to be positive. So 18 factors, 1 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6. Okay, I want the sum of them to be negative. So I'm going to make this big column the negative. And look, 3 minus 6 gives me negative 3. And 3 times negative 6 gives me negative 18. So my numbers are going to be negative 6 and 3. My factors will be x minus 6 times x plus 3. Number 4. My factors need to multiply together to give me negative 28, <clears throat> and they need to add up to give me positive 3. I notice that the product has to be negative. So one has to be negative, one has to be positive. Factors of 28, one and 28, two and 14, three won't, but four and seven, and that's it. Okay, the sum has to be positive. So the big ones need to be positive, the little ones need to be negative. There it is, negative 4 plus 7. 
Negative 4 plus 7 is 3. Negative 4 times 7 is negative 28. So my factors are y minus 4, y plus 7. All right, number five, factor completely. Top number is four, so they need to multiply together to give me four. The bottom number is four, so they need to add up to give me four. Factors of four, one and four, two and two. They have to be the same sign because they're, uh, the top number is positive. They both need to be pluses. 2 plus 2 is 4. So my factors will be y plus 2 times y plus 2. And number 6, factor completely. Be sure to factor out a GCF when necessary. Okay, when I see this one, I notice that it's not in the right form. I'm going to rewrite that to get it in the right form. I need to put the y squared first, plus 13y, minus 14. So when I do my x, my diamond, I'm going to put negative 14 up top and 13 on the bottom. I notice that the top number is negative, so one of the factors has got to be negative and one's got to be positive. So factors of 14, 1 and 14, 2 and 7. That's it. Okay, if I were to add those numbers up, if I did negative 1 plus 14, I would get 13. So negative 1 plus 14 is 13. Negative 1 times 14 is negative 14. All right, my factors will be y minus 1 times y plus 14. Number seven. Again, it's not in the standard form. I need to write the z squared first. So z squared minus 11z plus 18. I need 18 up top, so the factors need to multiply together to give me 18, and they need to add up to give me negative 11. So factors of 18, 1 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6. Okay, they both need to be negative because when they multiply together, they give me a positive, and they add up, and they give me a negative. So they both have to be negative. Okay, right here, negative 2 plus negative 9 gives me negative 11. So my factors will be z minus 2 times z minus 9. Number 8, factor completely. And since we're doing where the GCF, I mean, where A should be 1, I notice that right now it's a 2. So that kind of clues me in that I probably have a GCF. All three of those numbers are even, so I can pull a 2 out. If I factor out a 2, I'm left with x squared plus 2x minus 35. Okay, so I'm going to put a 2 here, and I know that I'm going to factor. So there's my, my template. Okay, what all is here in the parentheses? I need to factor that. So I'm going to go do my x. Negative 35 is up top. 2 is down below. Okay. I get negative 35, so one factor is negative, one is positive. Okay, factors of 35, 1 and 35, 2 won't, 3 won't, 4 won't, 5 and 7, that's it. Okay, if I do a negative 5 plus 7, I get a positive 2. So my factors are negative 5 and 7. Okay, I factored out the GCF of so don't forget that one out front. And I will also have an x minus 5 and an x plus 7. 
All right, number nine. I don't like that negative out front. So I'm going to factor out a negative one as my GCF. And I have y squared plus 9y plus 18. So I'm going to make sure to carry down that negative 1 so I don't forget it. And then I have my template. There's my two factors. So now let's go look at factoring y squared plus 9y plus 18. They have to multiply together to give me 18 and add up to give me 9. So what are the factors of 18? 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6. They multiply together to give me 18, and they add up to give me 9. 3 plus 6 is 9. So my answer, I factored out the GCF of negative 1, and I have y plus 3 times y plus 6. All right, number 10. This looks like a mess. Do I have any GCFs? All right, the numbers, I have 1, 11, and 10. So there's no number that I can pull out. I have a W cubed, W squared, and a W. So I can pull out a W for sure. I have a Z to the fourth, Z to the fourth, Z to the fourth. So I can also pull out a Z to the fourth. When I pull out w times z to the fourth, that turns into a 2, that's gone. That turns into a 1, that's gone. That's gone, that's gone. So I will be left with w squared plus 11w plus 10. Okay, I'm going to leave my GCF. I'm going to go ahead and write that down so I don't forget it. And then I'm going to have two more factors. How do I factor w squared plus 11w plus 10? The factors need to multiply together to give me 10 and add up to give me 11. Factors of 10, 1 and 10, 2 and 5. 1 plus 10 gives me 11. 1 times 10 gives me 10. There they are. Okay, I'll have W plus 1 times W plus 10. Number 11. I see a 6 there, so I bet 6 is my GCF. I factor the 6 out. 6 goes into 6, that's gone. 6 goes into 24, 4 times. 6 goes into 30, 5 times. So when I pull the GCF of 6 out, I'm left with z squared minus 4z minus 5. My answer, I'm going to go ahead and write that 6 out front, and then my two factors are going to come in a minute. Okay, how will I factor z squared minus 4z minus 5? The factors need to multiply together to give me negative 5 and they need to add together to give me negative four. Factors of five, oop, just one and five. But look, at this top one, the multi, uh, when you multiply them, they need to be a negative. So one's gonna be negative, one's gonna be positive. Okay, negative four when they add up together, so how about one plus negative five? That works. I'm going to have z minus 5 times z plus 1. All right, number 12. Um, this is kind of a new form, so this is something uh, new. There's not a GCF to factor out, but I see an x squared, an xy, and a y squared. Okay, let's ignore that for just a minute. Let's still work on the numbers. So my x... They need to multiply together to give me negative 24, and they need to add up to give me 2. Notice this one's negative, so one of them's going to be negative, one's going to be positive. Factors of 24, 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. 
Okay, they need to add up to give me two. One of them has to be negative. So negative four plus six gives me two. So my numbers are negative four and six. Okay, because I have a y and a y squared here, my factors are now gonna be, it would be x minus four and x plus six, right? But we're gonna stick in a y here. If I multiply this out, I get x squared plus 6xy minus 4xy is 2xy, and then minus 24y squared. So when you see x squared, xy, y squared, don't forget your y's. Number 13, factor completely. Okay, t squared minus 18t plus 56. I need 56 up top and negative 18 on the bottom. Since the top number's positive, they're both going to be the same sign. Since the bottom one's negative, they're both going to be negative. Okay, factors of 56. 1 and 56, 2 and 28. Um, three won't, I think four does, four and 14, five won't, well, six, seven, I think that's it, and I, I can stop there anyway. They both have to be negative, negative four plus negative 14 is negative 18, so there are my factors. Negative four plus negative 14 is negative 18, negative four times negative 14 is 56. So this factors to t minus 4 times t minus 14. Last problem. Raul purchased a parcel of land in the uh, country. The given expressions represent the lengths of the boundary lines of his property. Write the perimeter. Remember the perimeter is when you add up the length of all the sides. Write the perimeter as a polynomial in simplified form. So let's go add up all the sides. 4x minus 6 plus 7x plus 4x minus 5 plus 5x squared minus 9. I only see one squared term, so I'm going to write it first. Now all of the x terms, I have 4x plus 7x is 11x plus 4x is going to be 15x. Now the constant, negative 6 minus 5 is negative 11 minus 9 is negative 20. Okay, there's my perimeter written as a polynomial in simplified form. Now I need to completely factor it. Do you see that there's a GCF of 5? I'm going to factor that out first. So I have 5. I'm left with x squared plus 3x minus 4. Now I need to factor x squared plus 3x minus 4. Negative 4 up top, 3 on the bottom. Factors of 4, 1 and 4, 2 and 2. 1 has to be negative, 1 has to be positive. So I'm going to go positive 4, negative 1. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. 4 plus negative 1 is 3. So inside the parentheses, this will factor to x plus 4, x minus 1, and don't forget your GCF out front. So here is your answer for part A. Here's your answer for part B. And that's it on this section.